morning and welcome to a new vlog. I am just getting ready for work. My normal routine. Just trying to fix my hair a bit. Because the curls are still looking good on the second day, but it's the top that's a little bit greasy and flat. So I put in some dry shampoo and I'm just gonna touch it up a bit and then head off to work. I did quite a bit of editing last night to try to get back up, caught up with vlogmas, but I want to stop talking about the logistics of vlogs in vlogs because that's not fun for you guys to watch. Also, recently I got a new like body mist. This is from Bath and Body Works and it's the Chestnut and Argan. And I think it smells good. My all-time favorite scent was Twilight Woods, as you guys know. And they discontinued it, so I've been trying to find something similar because everything else gives me a headache. So that's all I can wear. Anyways, I'm I need to head out to work now. I just got home from work. It is just so cold in here. I just turned on the heat and I don't have very many lights on. I should probably turn them on. Kind of dark in here. Sorry, I went to go get a knife because I got a package and I wanna open it with you guys. Cute. It is a box from Sally Hansen or a little gift bag. Very full. So my camera just died and I couldn't find my um, spare battery. So I just charged my battery and took a three hour nap. But now we're back. <laughs> so this is what was inside my package. Some new Sally Hansen goodies that I will definitely be talking about on Instagram. And perfect timing because I need to do my nails and they look horrible. And now I have some new goodies to use. And I believe these will be available in January. So stay tuned on Instagram for more information. Right now I'm making a smoothie. So I have some frozen strawberries and blackberries, a little bit of banana, some pineapple chunks, and then I'm gonna add some spinach because I have a ton of this and I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> this is the finished smoothie. I should have added more liquid because it is very thick, but I honestly like my smoothies to be thick but this is like very thick i wonder if i can do the blizzard test where you hold it upside down i'm scared i'm scared <laughs> good morning and welcome to a new vlog i feel like this is probably a very weird way to start off a vlog but i'm just getting ready for work and i don't have too much time to to stop and chat so i am multitasking i'm <laughs> on my watch while I am saying hello to you guys but welcome it is Friday thank god because this week has just been long and I'm over it so I want to <laughs> finish up today and have a good weekend hey guys vlogmas day 15 here and I know this vlog has sucked because the last few days I barely vlogged and to be honest this week was just like blah like i don't know how to describe it i'm changing things up and being more positive um but i am pulling a question from the last vlog and a lot of you guys have been asking about like my makeup routine because i have been vlogging like while i'm getting ready for work and stuff like that so i thought that in this vlog i would go through my everyday makeup because i keep it here in my um i guess this is like a medicine cabinet it is above like my toilet <laughs> and it's funny because this cabinet let me just show you so this cabinet above my toilet here, I always close the toilet lid when I'm getting ready because I don't want things to fall in the toilet. It happened once. <laughs> so I thought I'd just take this opportunity to show you guys what I use every day. So I have this basket that I got from the dollar store and I use it to kind of help me organize on the shelves in my 
medicine cabinet here. So I'm just going to go through things in the order that I would use them. So first off, actually, let me do my whole beauty routine. That'll be fun. So first thing, my face wash that I'm currently using is the Biore baking soda pore cleanser. Um, I was sent this for free and I ended up really liking it because it has like little, um, I guess like baking soda clumps in it. So it's slightly more abrasive than what I was using before, which was the Spectro Gel Cleanser. But when I go back to my parents' house, that's what I have there and that's what I use. So I guess my skin is not too particular if I like change up my products a little bit, but I do like this one. Um, it kind of smells like baking soda, which is a little bit funny, but I like it and I would probably repurchase it because um, although it lasts a long time, I am like more than halfway done. But I do really like my Spectro gel too that I used to use and that's always a good one for clearing up like acne and stuff like that because it's very gentle. But this is the cleanser that I use. Then after I wash my face, I will always moisturize and I don't have a particular face moisturizer that I use. I just have like a, a St. Ives body lotion that I will also put on my face. But when it's really, really dry in the winter, this is what I use. I actually need to purchase more of this. And it's the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Cream. This I usually put on my body. But even when it's like really, really dry in the winter time, I will just use a little bit of this and put it on my face too underneath my makeup. And I actually prefer this because it's um, slightly sticky. So... Not stick. I don't know if sticky is the right word, but I feel like it acts as a good base for my makeup and I don't find it like makes me oily. If anything, when I moisturize, it makes my makeup less oily throughout the day um, because then my like skin doesn't need to produce more oil to hydrate my skin. So I'm almost done with this. I need to buy a new one, especially because it's like the dead of winter right now and my skin is so dry. And then on my skin, I will use a BB cream. So this is the Garnier Skin Renew one in light. Um, I've had this for a very long time and I like it. Um, it's, I think, the only BB cream I've ever used. So to be honest, my opinion is not that well educated, but I like it and it seems to work well for me. It's pretty thin, low coverage, um, but kind of acts like as an even base for my skin because I don't use like foundation or anything. And then the concealer that I use is by CoverGirl and it's in the color Fair as well. And I've used this concealer just like my whole life. Um, my mom uses it, so it's what I started using when I started wearing makeup for the first time. So it kind of looks like a lipstick. I'm running really low right now. Um, but I really like it because it's thick, so I'll just like put it on under my eyes mainly, and then a little bit like on my nose or if I'm if I have any blemishes. So like right now I'm breaking out between my eyebrows here. Um, so that's where I would put it. I can, and then I can like pat it in with my finger is what I use with this. Then I will use a powder. So this is the, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I really like this stuff and I find like a little bit goes a long way. This is in Buff Beige. And I just apply that with a brush. These are my brushes here. So for my powder. Um, so up until this point, my makeup routine, I have not used any brushes. And then for powder, I actually use this small brush, which I believe is a blue brush bl blush brush but I don't like using these big like fluffy ones because I like to put it on my concealer right so um a smaller brush lets me like get underneath my eyes and stuff like that this is what I use to apply my powder and then next I will apply blush and bronzer so I have this elf um, blush and bronzer duo and I will just use my angled blush brush these are from Sigma the other brush I so it doesn't have a name on it. I think I got it at iMats um, one year. This is a Sigma angled brush in uh, F40, in case you're wondering. These are very old brushes as well, but they last a long time. Like you, It's a one-time purchase, in my opinion. I kind of just like dip it twice into the blush and then once into the bronzer and then like put it on my cheeks. Then I take my highlighter. So this is the Becca highlighter in Moonstone. So I use a lot of drugstore products. This is kind of my only high-end product that I have um, but I really really like it so what I do is I use my finger with this and then I'll put it on the top of my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose just very slightly and then I'll put it um, in the corner of my eyes and then kind of like swipe it onto my lid for eyeshadow most of the time four out of the five work days I don't wear um, anything else on my eyes besides the highlighter that I put but if I'm feeling fancy like if I have a presentation or something then I'll use my naked palette 
this is like the only eyeshadow that I own, but I love it. And then I'll take usually Tees or Suspect. So this is Tees here and this is Suspect, I believe. I'm like looking through the mirror. And kind of just take a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40 and just like buff that into my crease. And that's like the most I'll do for daily eyeshadow. Um, if I'm going out or something like that, then I'll do a little bit more eyeshadow with this, like darker colors, but I love this Naked palette. This is, these are like my colors. I love the more cool tones of this palette. Um, and in my opinion, if you're starting out with makeup and want some nice um, eyeshadows that will last you like literally forever, I don't know how long I've had this palette for, very long time. Um, I highly recommend the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. Then, um, so after eyeshadow, then I will do my eyebrows. And what I do with my eyebrows, very low maintenance. Some days I even forget. I take an angled brush like this, and it is the E65. And I will use a, which one do I use? I think I'm using this one right now. It's like a dark brown, and then I'll just like kind of go over my eyebrows, make them a little bit darker and fill in any like sparse areas, but just really like low, low precision, just kind of put it on and makes my eyebrows look better in my opinion. So that's the extent of my eyebrows. Then I will always put on lip balm. So right now I have the EOS, which I should put on right now because my lips are really dry. And then I will do mascara. And then I think that's the last makeup product that I usually do. So I will curl my eyelashes, which I need to get a new eyelash curler um, cause this one, like the sponge is worn off, but this is, I got this at Sephora. I don't know the brand of it. Right now I am using this mascara here, which is the Almay One Coat Mega Volume. The brush on this is really funny, kind of cool. This mascara I'm just using because I have it, but it's not like a go-to need to repurchase kind of mascara in my opinion. And that is it. That is what I do for makeup on the on a uh, daily basis. It's really funny because I like walked you through my whole routine, but I did not like put anything on my face besides that lip balm. So I feel kind of funny. I feel like I just showed you everything and I should like have everything like a completed look, but you guys see what I look like on the daily. Right now I'm not wearing any makeup, but that's my makeup routine. It's really simple. I like to keep things very minimal because I can do this in like under five minutes. I don't like to, I don't know, wear too much makeup on the daily. And I don't got time for that. <laughs> you see in these vlogs, I'm always like running out the door like, <laughs> I don't have time to, or I would, I don't know, I don't prioritize putting on 40 minutes worth of makeup in the morning because I would rather sleep or like get to work earlier, so. That's just my routine and those are the products that I use. Anyways, I hope that made this really shitty vlog a little bit better. <laughs> I hope you guys are still enjoying Vlogmas even though one, my vlogs are late and two, they're like boring half the time in my opinion. But um, thank you guys for always watching, especially if you're still watching to the end right now. Give this video a thumbs up and um, hit that little notification bell if you want to keep up with whenever I upload. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for all your support always, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.